In today's video, I'll be showing you how to find the derivative of this function. So it is a function inside of a function inside of a function inside of a function inside of a function. So we will be needing to use the chain rule multiple times. So we always start with the outside function first. So the derivative of cosine is negative sine and we keep the inside the same. Tangent 7x times the derivative of the inside function. So we'll write dy dx of root sine tangent 7x. Now to find the derivative of this function, I will just continue down here and we'll all write it out all as one at the end. So the derivative of this function, so that can be rewrited as sine tangent 7x to the 1 half. So to, we apply the power rule, so we'll have 1 half times sine tan 7x to the negative 1 half, which is equal to 1 over 2 root sine tan 7x. So that's the derivative of this function. So we found the derivative of this and the cosine. Now we'll keep moving forward and derive, find the derivative of this function in, underneath the uh, radical. So dy dx of sine tangent 7x equals cosine, and then keep the inside the same, tangent 7x times the derivative of this inside function. The derivative tangent is secant squared, and keep the inside the same, 7x times the derivative of that, which is just 7. So if we put that all together, we have a, the derivative of this top function is, I'm going to need a lot of room, equals negative sine times root sine tan 7x times 1 over 2 root sine tan 7x times cosine tan 7x, I'll continue it right here times secant squared 7x times 7. So this long thing is our derivative. And it can't be simplified much more, so I'm just going to leave it like that.